Uh, we are in Mlango Farm. It's located in Ngecha in Rimuru, Kiambu County. So in this farm, it's an organic farm, so we don't use any kind of fertilizer. We only use organic materials like the compost, the manure. Yeah. Here in Mlango Farm, we're very cautious. We prepare our farm before planting. Um, this is how we do. So we prepare our topsoil. So now I've put compost on our soil. We are preparing the soil before planting, before we can uh, bring more plants to plant here. As you can see, our soil is very fertile, very healthy. And uh, you can see the microorganism, but our soil is very good and healthy for farming. Because the soil now will absorb the nutrients after we have applied the compost. Every farmer needs composting because it's very sustainable and very easily accessible and it adds nutrients to the soil and you could use uh, the vegetables leftovers. Uh, here in Mlango Farm we use vegetable leftovers, this is cabbage. We also have leaves, twigs, this you can get it anywhere uh, and it's really important because it adds nutrients to the soil. Once it's decomposed, it's able to bring uh, more nutrients to the soil. To build a composting uh, site, you need to find a perfect location where there's shade under a tree, where there's no direct sunlight, uh, to maintain moisture and to make sure that the composting process is easy and the moisture is retained in the compost. You need to have the uh, place easily accessible so you can easily take out the compost to use at the farm. And then so you need to have the twigs on top and then uh, so you need to make sure that the temperatures are okay. So now and then you need to check the temperatures and once the moisture is coming out you need to change uh, so that the upper parts, the upper layer can get enough moisture also so you can be able to have a complete compost. So this is another composting site. This is older. Uh, so what happens, we'll mix the compost with the manure and it will be ready to be used at the farm. As you can see, it's looking nice and ready to be used. To keep the soil healthy, you have to use things like manure and you have to use compost also. And you also need to uh, intercrop and uh, do rotational farming because some plants give certain nutrients to the soil and others take the nutrients. Above here we have intercropping. Here we have beans. Uh, this is fennel. We have the rhubarb and this is kale. We have the lemon grass. And here we also have uh, lemon verbena. Here we have spinach. So this spinach, maybe it can be here for about a month, then we can move it somewhere else and uh, plant maybe carrots, broccoli, cauliflower here. Because the spinach uh, have already given us nutrients to the soil, then we can bring another plant which can uh, intake the nutrients that was left in the soil and it can also give its nutrients to the soil. Trees are good for the fungi and also for evaporation because of the shade that they give, so the water doesn't evaporate. They are also part of intercropping, and then we use them to hold the soil and keep the soil together. And we have divided our farm into terraces, so when the water comes, the excess water, instead of cutting away our topsoil, the water comes to these trenches. These trenches are very fertile. And also, they are just not trees, they give us fruits. The roots have network and the fungi helps uh, in uh, we're giving us nutrients that help us to, give, to yield more fruits.